Hello, my name is Anwar Rajal. I'm a solution consultant for MuleSoft. And today I'm going to walk you through how to use the ServiceNow connector and leverage not just all the tables that are provided out of the box, but how to use some of the custom objects that you may have created, custom tables, um, or some other tables that may not be provided for you out of the box. So I'm going to start off with a flow that I've already built. And I built that by simply dragging and dropping various components um, that are available on the right hand side and there's one of these connectors called ServiceNow and that's what I dragged and dropped over here to build my flow and if you take a look at one of these flows um, when I select the ServiceNow connector it shows me all the tables that you know it has access to out of the box and in here if you take a look um, there are certain tables, but that's definitely not all the all the available tables within ServiceNow, right? So in this example, I want to add um, the CMDB CI table because I want to search for configuration items that match a specific parameter. So in that case, um, there's a really quick and easy way to do it. So first of all, what I'm gonna what we're gonna do is we're going to click on this pencil icon right and then you could leave it as default this checkbox if you this radio button if you leave it at default it'll only display you the tables that we provide out of the box but if you feel like there's something that's missing and you want to extend it then you select the checkbox and you go on to this item right and in here you can select the individual tables that you want to add so in my case um, I want to if I wanted to add uh, if I wanted to add the CMDB CI table then what I would do is click on edit and click on CMDB underscore CI so what I'm telling this connector to say hey the tables that were provided out of the box are not enough and I want you to go and fetch data from from this table for me right once you do that that's basically all you need. Uh, one thing I ran into is that um, it wasn't working for me for Geneva. Uh, even though I'm connecting to a Geneva system for this test, I switched to, to Helsinki and then it seemed to be working. So I'm not sure if it's a no soft configuration or a connector configuration or service now specific configuration. Now that I have selected that, what I can do is when I go to my excuse me when I go to my list of tables and I refresh it takes a second or so to refresh but now I see that I have access to my configuration item table right and not only the table I'll have access to some of these operations in your case if you give it a second you'll see that it's gonna refresh for metadata and then it's gonna go in and pull out all the records Right. One of the unique features uh, within MuleSoft is that any table that I reference, MuleSoft will go in and pull in metadata for that specific table. So I now know, you know what my input for that ServiceNow connector looks like. And then I can also see what my output looks like. Right? Because I'm now connecting to a configuration item table, I can see all the different fields that are available to me. So. I can now go in and start to build out some of the fields that I care about and see. So in this case, I care about you know these certain fields that I've simply typed out. And now for me to test, I go to my browser and call this this search function and do a quick send. Give it a second. And now it comes back with the specific data, right? In this case, this um, CI. And if I go back to my browser here, this is the specific um, configuration item that I'm searching for. Okay, um, a quick, that's, that's all. A quick thing I wanted to point out is a really good way to find documentation is to search in our documentation side, which is doc, docs.mulesoft.com. There's a lot of information about ServiceNow Connector and a bunch of other connectors that we have. 
Also a good place to search is it's on GitHub um, where in this case I found this link to the ServiceNow Whistle connector. I not only have access to my API docs, but there are also some sample files that I could download. Um, in this example, the f this sample file makes it easy for me because I can now quickly learn um, what are the different parameters I need to pass, how to parse these values, etc. So that makes my development very, very easy. Okay, good luck. Thanks for watching.